Um, today, the 18th of October, is World Menopause Day. Nobody, I, I didn't know that. I'm sure you didn't know that. Um, I don't know why we didn't know that, but we didn't, but we do now. Um, and uh, we're talking about something that uh, lots of people don't talk about. The menopause is just like, oh, ick, isn't it? It's just an ick su subject. Nobody wants to talk about it. Men don't want to talk about it. Women don't want to talk about it. No one wants to talk about it, but it happens. Um, the average age that women go through menopause is 51. Um, but would you know what to look for? Because I've had girlfriends who've gone through the menopause really early, um, sort of in their it, it, early 40s. Um, and let alone the later 40s, as many as one in 100 women will experience it under 40 and one in 1,000 women under 30. Extraordinary. Well, Marion Stewart is the pioneer of the natural menopause movement. Uh, good morning, Marion. Good morning. So we didn't know nobody what you were saying about Harry Potter, because my youngest son was a stunt student in the last film, so he learned all that wand magic, so it brought Did all he? Back to me. he was in the movie? <laughs> <laughs> he was, yes. And so they, they're not just waving it about, they're actually doing something proper Oh, no, it. he had to go and learn. He had to go and learn all sorts of things. It was, it was amazing, but it oh, was incredible. an incredible experience. Oh, yeah, wonderful anyway, to hang around the film set. Two <laughs> menopause. Um, from something people like talking about, Harry Potter, to something people don't like talking about, menopause. Um, right, so we're now starting to talk about this to the great discomfort of many men that are listening. They've probably switched off by now. Hello? Well, Marion switched off as well. She's gone. Uh, Hello, Marion. Either. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That was perfect timing, by the way, uh, of you not being able to speak about menopause. Um, so tell me, what, what, we're talking about how you would identify that if you, as a younger woman. Well, I certainly, we've done lots of surveys in the last couple of years, and you're right, there are a lot of women who go into early menopause, and I think that it takes them completely by surprise. In fact, many of them feel robbed of their what they perceive as their youth, their childbearing years, and it is it can be incredibly depressing. And the number of symptoms, not just uh, there's perimenopause also, which is five years around the time of the menopause, which nobody seems to prepare us for. And in fact, we've just done a new survey, which we're publishing next week, and I can tell you that hardly any women are getting help from their doctor. They just don't go. And mainly, they're clawing around the internet to try and find information, which is variable, especially if they've been up all night because they can't sleep and they've got brain fog and they're feeling anxious. How on earth are they supposed to tell what's good information and what's bad? And the really, really sad thing is that women regard menopause as the beginning of the end. They don't look at it like pregnancy, for example, where you get pregnant, you have a bump, then you have a baby, and then it's over and you've got this lovely bundle. They think menopause, and then the research shows it can go on for years and years and years because there are certain underlying things that prevent you getting better unless you learn to meet your needs. And so from my perspective, every single week, I hear from women who are the ball, they can't go out the house, they just, they are a shadow of their former selves, they feel like they've been possessed by an alien, and they have no idea what to do about it, and it's so unbelievable, because it's so unnecessary. But that sense of it being, being the beginning of the end, it, it kind of is, in a way, isn't it? Because you, you're not going to have children, you, even if you don't want children, you, the, the idea no, that you can't no. have them, it's the pathway into old age, a lot of women would see it as. Yes, but it isn't. That's the whole point. I mean, I've been helping women over their symptoms for 27 years. We know that women have very got, got low levels of nutrients and that their hormone levels drop, which makes them feel terrible. But if you learn how to meet your needs, you can actually feel better than you can remember. It's a whole new chapter in your life. Yes, it's the end of your reproductive years, but for those women who have got to menopause age, obviously not for the ones who go into early menopause, and I'll come back to that in a minute, but for those who are around their 50s and who don't want any more kids anyway, it's a great time. They can get themselves, they can get symptom-free, more energy, they can sleep well, they can feel happy and joyous, and they literally can go on and do anything they want to do in their lives. They can be better in the workplace, they can have sexy and loving relationships, they can go and recreate themselves and become... Some of my patients go off and they become healers or counsellors or they take a gap here or they do something fun, but 
because they feel so much better. They can't, they've got the blank canvas that they can paint at a time in their life where maybe they've got more leisure time, they've got more disposable income, and their kids maybe have gone off to university. It's a time for them. But, but they can't do that if they're I, overwhelmed by symptoms. I, 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 you, you, I know you don't need to sell it to me, but, but it's, it's just, <laughs> it's not being sold to me, and I, I, I'm not there yet. But, you know, I'm thinking, oh, no, that still doesn't, that doesn't, it's... The, I still don't like the idea of it. Isn't that well, the problem that you've got, though, with it? Then that's why people no, don't want to talk about no, it. No, I think, I think the problem it's you've big. got is that women don't understand that they can yeah. be better than okay. they can remember. And I think that when, certainly from my perspective, with all my patients, is that they, and I've now got a six-week boot camp, which I set up last summer because women in my Facebook group wanted more help. And I find that by week four, you can see that their skin's changed, their eyes are bright, they've got more energy, they're smiling, they're starting to get their sexy back. They, they feel completely different. They Amazing. feel a light at the end of the tunnel.